This is our Eva, and it's made out of high-density fiberboard, and we're going to show you how to stain it. A lot of people believe that you can't stain fiberboard, but that's what we're here today to see. We're going to be using Minwax Gel Stain. Um, it does say to make sure that you have your stain stirred until it is creamy, which we've already done. You want some gloves to wear to keep your hands from getting stained. You want to make sure that you have a screwdriver to open the can of stain. You're going to need a rag, and we're going to be applying the stain today with a sponge brush. You can use um, a regular brush or a rag to apply the stain if you prefer. Now, you want to always be sure and follow the manufacturer's directions on whatever stain that you're using. And the stain that we're using today does not say anything about ventilation, so we're working inside today because it's very cold outside. And you're going to use your brush or your rag and dip into the stain. Now, it's really thick, so um, don't be afraid to get enough on the item that you're using and just start applying it to the corbel. Once you get some stain on there, you want to try to use end-to-end -end strokes with your brush or your rag so that you end up with a nice smooth finish and you don't have brush strokes as far as stopping marks. And this may take several applications to get the entire piece covered with stain. Now we're using a dark stain today, but you can use whatever color you prefer or the color that matches your home decor. If you're using a, if you're, the rest of your home has light wood in it, um, then Minwax certainly carries a lighter color. But you can see how, as I'm applying the stain in little strokes, once I get it on there, I go back and brush over to avoid those stop and start marks. And it also prevents it from being too heavy in one area. You don't want to have any drip marks on the side, so make sure you check for that as well. Now, we've got one face of the corbel covered and the directions tell you to wait three minutes until you brush it with a rag. You can either take this time to go and cover another side of the corbel, but you can't roll it because it's wet, or you can wait until this side has the three minutes and then wipe it off. Well, our three minutes are up, and as you can see, during that time I painted the other side, and now we're gonna show you how to take your rag and go back over the piece to give it more of a wood grain look. The stain has gotten tacky, so we're just going to use a light hand. You don't want to go too heavy to remove some of the stain. Use the same long sweeping strokes so that you don't get stop and start marks, which I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit here where I don't make it all the way to the edge coming from this direction. So I'm going to start down here and go up. It's a little like artwork. You can just play with it with your rag or you can use the brush if you wish, um, creating lighter and darker areas until you achieve the look that you want. It's all your taste and what you think looks good. You can play around with dabbing to see what kind of look you're going to get. You can add a little more stain if your hand was too heavy and you took off too much, or if you just want a certain area to be darker than another. Don't forget to get the edges of the corbel once you've got it stained on all the sides, and be sure and push it around on whatever you're sitting on so that it doesn't get stuck. And there you go. www.federalbrace.com. That's it. Thank you.